Microglia are one type of glial cell in the brain which are derived from the mesodermal lineage and they are kind of like the resident immune cells in the brain. Microglia are not born in the brain which is pretty different from other two glial cell types like astrocytes or oligodendrocytes. Microglia are of mesodermal origin and they are derived from the primitive myeloid progenitors present in the yolk sac during embryonic development. They develop from the mesodermal lineage and eventually they populate the brain before and even after the birth. So this is a timeline of microglial development or the development of all the glial cell type. One can see the microglial innervation happens in the brain pretty early at around uh, the gestational week 5 to 30. This is the timeline when the microglial cells innervate the brain. So microglia has plethora of function. One of the key function is to eliminate damaged neurons. Also, they take part in synaptic pruning, release, they release ROS and many other proteases which can have effect in the overall brain function. They release cytokine which might be involved in neuroinflammation. They recruit oligodendrocyte progenitors and other cells which can model the neuronal circuitry. They promote repair and regeneration as well. They can phagocytose, debris and other foreign materials which are present in the cell. So that is why they are resident macrophages in the brain. And overall, they can scan and survey the cellular environment for any kind of pathogen or pathogen associated molecular patterns. Now let's look at the function in a bit more details. Microglia are dynamic in terms of morphology. They retract and extend their processes all the time and this is a highly dynamic process. Microglia are like security guards. They constantly search and monitor the local environment looking for potential intruders. So they can engulf cellular debris like these ones. Also, they can engulf damage end of a neuron. They can do this kind of function because they have, patho they have pattern recognition receptors which can recognize damage associated molecular pattern or the pathogen associated molecular patterns. Now microglia play instrumental role in pruning of the synapse. So you can see here the microglia are closely associated with the synapse and help in this pruning procedure. Microglial activation due to the brain injury or infection is really important in terms of fun brain functionality because when there is an injury, microglia which are in resting state gets activated. These activated microglia are very different. They are pushy and they contain less processes. Also they can secrete potential cytokines which are pro-inflammatory in the nature. Now question comes, how does microglia recognize the injury site. Once activated, microglia can also interact with other cell types such as T cells and even stimulate them to produce more cytokines. So microglia can actually locate an injury site via specific signaling molecules such as ATP. Injury sites secretes ATP and it's kind of like a danger signal that is scanned by the microglia with the help of purinergic receptor present on them and thereby they can locate the injury site and quickly migrate to that location. Now microglia is quite diverse in terms of their nature. So recent single cell RNA sequencing drive has found out that within the brain there are different classes of microglia each has slightly different function. So each of these types are based on their morphology, the molecules they express on their surface or the cytokines that they secrete uh, depends on specific disease context. So microglia is highly associated with many neurodegenerative disease. One of the most common one is Alzheimer's disease. Many Alzheimer's risk genes are highly enriched in microglia such as TREM2, MSA4 etc. So this 
allows the scientist to believe that microglia is the driver for disease progression. This kind of point of view is still debatable, but it's an interesting angle. Now it turns out that in Alzheimer's disease there are plaques which are actually uh, surveyed by microglia which triggers the microglia to release the specific pro-inflammatory cytokines. So these microglia are known as disease associated microglia. This is a specific state of the microglia. So the signals that are secreted from disease associated microglia triggers astrocyte activity and they make the astrocytes more reactive. Then reactive astrocytes further form specific chemicals that can damage the neurons, potentially leading to neurodegeneration. And this is the vicious cycle that happens in many neurodegenerative disorders, including Alzheimer's. So these disease-associated microglia is a recent discovery. And it turns out that disease-associated microglia are forming in the Alzheimer's brain by two-step procedure. One, the downregulation of microglial checkpoint genes, and second, the upregulation of phagocytotic and lipid metabolism genes. But still, it is debatable that what is the important role of these type of microglia? Is it beneficial or detrimental for Alzheimer's brain? So scientists are still struggling to find an answer for that. However, in this video, we can understand how microglia is super important in context of neuroinflammation. So I hope this video helps. Get more notes and flashcards in our Facebook page or Instagram page. You can see all the links in our description. You can support our channel using super thanks. You can contribute using Paytm, PayPal or UPI. See you next time.